What's up everybody, EJ80 Proof here. I'm here in Brooklyn, New York at Lafayette Park. Almost exactly the same as, as I remember it. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. What I'm here to talk about is the idea of the woman being the weaker vessel. Now, I know a lot of women fight against this idea because, I don't know, they feel it's degrading, they feel, you know, it takes away from them, or their equality is, 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 is put in jeopardy, or whatever the case may be. But I think what they fail to understand is that it is this very concept that keeps men in the mindset of protecting women. Because men see women as the weaker vessel and this is why men come to the rescue when when uh, when a woman is in trouble the whole damsel in distress idea but when you take that idea and you say wait a minute stop women are no longer the the weaker vessel they're just as strong as you are then the other idea where it says they are the weaker vessel and we must protect them that changes too Okay, to they're not the they're no, no longer the weaker vessel. We don't have to protect them. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta be careful of these concepts because no matter what the truth is uh, or the reality is, like if I was dating Layla Ali, she probably could beat my ass without breaking a sweat, you know. But if a guy jumped out and was going to attack her. I'm like, yo, baby, get behind me, cause yo, dude, what you wanna do? You ain't touching my woman. That's the that's the mindset. Because I because no matter who she is, I still see the woman as a weaker vessel and I have to protect her. So you're gonna have to go through me. But if I if the mindset is changed and it's like she's not the weaker vessel, she's just as strong as you are, then it's like he jump out at her, then she can handle her own business. I don't have to get involved in that. I'm not charged with protecting her. You see where I'm going with this? I mean, it, it even as a whole societal view, let me give you an example. If you come walking down the street and you see two men just bang, pow, 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 throwing punches and just fighting in the street, you know, people take out their cell phones and go, oh, shoot, look at this, and they're videotaping. Somebody might try to break it up, but nobody's like, oh my God, he punched them. Nobody. Why? Because it's two men. They should be able to handle themselves and defend themselves. The next point is, if a woman was attacking a man, you know, she slaps him, she's punching him, even kick him or whatever. He's not hitting the back. He's just like trying to protect himself so he can get away. People laugh at that. They laugh at that. They think it's hilarious. They take out their phones and videotape it. Why? Because they figure, yo, he's, he's the man, he's the strong one. So he should be able to handle whatever this is from, from the woman. He should be able to take that. So nobody, nobody goes crazy. But the minute he turns around and slap the taste out her mouth. Oh, 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 oh my God, people grab him. No, you can't do that, man. Oh, don't be hitting on a woman like that. Why, why do they do that? because of the idea that the woman is the weaker vessel, she should be protected and not attacked or assaulted by no man. But when you turn that concept around, then people will look at a man beating the crap out of a woman just like a man beating the crap out of another man. They just take out their phones and videotape. But nobody's like, oh man, you shouldn't do that. So we gotta be careful of some of the ideas that we wanna flip over and change around. Because being a weaker vessel, uh, whether, whether you believe it to be spiritually, physically, or mentally, being a weaker vessel does not put you in a bad light. It doesn't take anything from you. In fact, it ensures your protection and your safety. That's why the idea was put in us. That's why we were trained that way. That's why even the Bible says so. You know, but if you don't want, if you want to flip it around, you know, good luck. Hopefully we don't end up raising a generation of men who don't feel the necessity to protect their woman. I'm EJ80 Proof.
just sharing my thoughts.